health, experience matters by U.S. Bank. Proud to be the exclusive banking cornerstone partner of WKU Athletics by Wright Implement Company, Western Kentucky's John Deere dealer since 1936. We want to welcome in our television crowd as part of our simulcast on Hilltopper Basketball. Indiana State and WKU set for this morning start from EA Dental Arena. Jeff Younglove and Hal Schmidt with you this morning. Hilltopper is trying to snap a two-game road trip losing streak. Uh, or if you give them about 10 points, that would have been a two-game winning streak. If they could have spread it out. In fact, they only lost by one this is last like Wednesday. Celebration of Earth Day with the Sycamores, which is a tree That's in right. the Hilltoppers. In the Hilltoppers. Quickly off the glass right in there. That's Lamont Bearden. Well, Lamonte took that one straight to the rack and scored it. They stopped the play because the clock didn't start. Okay. I assume they, well, they'll let that, that play stand, but they'll get the clock. They'll run some seconds. Not many because they didn't take him very long to get yep. that one. Uh, again, Dwight Colby controlled the tip as he normally does, but they're immediately going to have to go to the monitor. 10 seconds into this game. Yeah, and see 1959, that was, a, that was a long second. You'd think maybe you well, were in Richmond or something like that. Yeah, uh, no, they, uh, <laughs> that was probably six seconds or less would yeah. be my guess. Uh, but they're going to get get it right. They're over there looking at the monitor right now. And um, that is a reviewable call. Uh, that was a big question in Wisconsin, whether yes, or not that, that final play was reviewable or not. Well, And the yeah. fact of, of it being a blocker charge was not, but the fact that it was an illegal screen certainly was. They could have looked at that. But nonetheless, we're not going to dwell on that. It'll That's right. That, that was Wednesday night, and we're, uh, we're Saturday morning. Bitter now, taste so, uh, You it see was. Coach Stansberry in his second year and for Indiana State. Coach Greg Lansing in his eighth year at Indiana State. He's got a winning record there from South Dakota originally, uh, or played as, I guess he played basketball. I'll assume that he was a player, but I know he went to South Dakota and finished there well, we in got a break uh, 1990. In I'll look that up, Jeff. Yeah, I'm assuming he played there too. You know, some of those um, successful coaches have been managers and everything else. Okay, they took uh, six seconds off the clock, so it was a quick two by Lamonte Bearden. And the toppers leading it two to nothing. Indiana State back with the basketball. Toppers will open up in a man-to-man -man defense. You'll see some zone too. Little alley oop stolen away by WKU's Darius Thompson. Lead pass to Justin Johnson goes in for the two. Wow. We'll call that one the combination of the game. Jeff sponsored by State Farm Insurance. State Farm is there for you when things go wrong, but also here to help life go right. Talk to an agent today at 1-800-STATE-FARM. Good stands very wanted a fast start. He's got a fast start in the first minute at least. Uh, toppers up four to nothing. Indiana State back with the basketball on their own offensive end. Little jumper taken from in front by Brenton Scott. Not there. The rebound taken down by WKU's Lamonte Bearden. Toppers up four to nothing in this early morning contest. Over to Thompson. Thompson top of the key. Looks underneath. Colby now will walk across the lane over to Justin Johnson outside the three-point line. Back over to Colby. Colby hands it off to Hollingsworth, goes in, has it blocked back at him, put his hand on it, slapped it back up to Indiana State. They're on the run coming the other way. Don't have the numbers, little travel call there. Steps call, so the turnover goes against Indiana State, and Toppers will get the ball back. Jordan Barnes, their exciting freshman point guard, guilty of the turnover. He comes into this one with 40 assists and 25 turnovers, so he also, for the Sycamores, not playing like a freshman. 14, uh, 4 to nothing, rather, just under the 18 mark here in this first half of play from Diddle Arena, Bowling Green, Kentucky inside. Justin Johnson has it blocked from behind by Kessinger. Topper still with the ball and then try to work it inside to Colby. The reach around foul called against Indiana State. Yeah, that was on Brandon Murphy, his first, team's first. He has been disqualified in one game. Murphy has for excessive foul. Toppers back with the basketball underneath their own baseline. 18.36 to go in this first half. Four to nothing, and it comes to Justin Johnson. Johnson gives it back over the right corner to Thompson. Thompson inside. Colby up off the glass. Got it. And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. Well, the story there is Murphy picking up his second. Just back-to-back -back plays. So he will probably go to the bench early in this one with a minute and a half ticking off the clock. Dwight Colby, the key to that play, he caught the ball and went up immediately. Did not allow any time for, for a double team or smothering defense to get on him. He went up quickly, drew the foul, made the basket, chance for the three-point play to give the Hilltoppers a seven-point lead. Colby, a 72-point shooter, and Mondre Rickman into the game now for Indiana State as Colby converts the three-point play, and Topper is pitching a shutout right now, 7 or nothing 
at the 18-29 mark. That sounds like it could be the start of the football game That's later right. on. Hilltoppers we, in a bowl game in Orlando. We would take that as well. Indiana State back with the basketball, looking to get up on the board, and there's a whistle away from the ball. This one will go against Colby, and uh, calling it a little bit tight inside right now. That'll be Colby's first foul, and the team first as well. He was over guarding down in the paint against Amanda, Amandre Rickman drew that foul. Rickman, who just came into the game for Murphy, who's got a couple of fouls, and there's the three-pointer. We talked about that. That was Jordan Barnes. And Indiana State, a very good three-point shooting team. And Barnes leads the way at 53% clip from beyond the arc, and that's not just in a handful of attempts. He shot the ball 77 times and hit 41 of them. Yeah, coming aver in. averaging better than 20 points the last four games, and nice drive that time by Darius Thompson, who gets his first two. And this topper team has come out in pretty good shape here in this early going. Whistle again, travel. That'll be the second travel against Indiana State give the ball back over to the Hilltoppers leading it nine to three again. That's on Rickman He came in for Murphy who drew two quick fouls and uh, Rickman got a little excited down there on the block shuffled his feet One turnover uh, against the toppers two now on Indiana State toppers back with the basketball leading it nine to three with 17 and a half minutes to go Hollingsworth out at the top of the key to the back over to Justin Johnson They look inside to Colby Colby has it blocked and nice block that time Underneath by number 41, Rickman. Yeah, Rickman stands 6'9", 255. Three-pointer again, not there. Offensive rebound by Rickman. Couldn't get it back in, and the topper's coming the other way with it. Beard, great pass to Colby pass. for the stuff. Oh, what a nice pass. He led Colby perfectly, put a little spin on the ball, so it bounced up nicely for the big guy. The Bahama Mama with his dunk. Here this afternoon. Timeout on the court, 11 to 3. Toppers right now is 17.06 to go. We're going to take a break. No, we're going to stay right here as this is just a quick timeout by Indiana State, not the uh, media timeout. I think Greg Lansing wants to kind of get yeah. his guys' attention over there. It looks like he might be. He's really on Rickman right now. Not happy with him letting Colby get in front of him and uh, run the floor faster than he did. So that probably won't happen again, not at least for a little while. Toppers so far shooting five for seven, 71%. So we talk about them getting out hot. And boy, when you want to make sure of something, uh, you slam the ball through. And that's what Colby did. You betcha. And that's a Meyer dunk, too, by the way. Meyer's making a $25 contribution this season to simply give that benefits our area local food banks for each Hilltopper dunk this season. 11 to three, Toppers leading it. Indiana State back with the basketball after the 30-second timeout. They've got one field goal, and that's been it. They go inside to he Rickman. Walked. Rickman, a little left-handed shot, not there. Indiana State back with the rebound, and still loose on the floor. Now it's picked up by WKU. <laughs> Referee a was in a there. bad spot. Johnson. Over the three-pointer, up by Thompson, not there. Or rather, uh, Thompson, mm. not there. But the foul on the rebound, as working hard for it, Justin Johnson, the senior. And that'll be the third team foul against the Indiana State. This one will go against number five, Kessinger. Well, this one's a battle, because Stansbury keeps talking about not wanting, wanting to get anybody in foul trouble. I'm just not wanting to get anybody in the hospital. In the hospital, yeah. And it comes to Bearden. Bearden off the pick by oh. Colby. And boy, another foul. And that'll be against Indiana State. That'll be against Scott this time. His first and team's fourth. Indiana State goes a little bit deeper into the bench. They'll play nine or ten players. WKU would just like to have nine or ten players. <laughs> <laughs> well, Indiana State is really trying to play aggressively, um, defensively especially, and the, the officials are not letting them play right now. And uh, you have to adjust. If you're Greg Glancing over there and, and the team in blue, you've got to make those adjustments. You can't crowd somebody that much. Merrick Nelson, the first hilltopper off the bench in for Coleman. Indiana State will counter that with number 13, Clayton Hughes, who comes into the game, the freshman out of Jackson, Tennessee. As Levante Bearden puts up his second free throw, perfect. Bearden's three of three at the stripe. Hilltoppers, four of four as a team. Toppers leading it 13 to three, a 10 point advantage here in the early going for WKU. 
Did I dream that Bearden shot a free throw earlier? No, I think you may have, because I've only okay. got him with shooting two altogether. Okay. And there's the second foul against WKU as inside is called against John, Justin Johnson, his first, team second. And the first free throws to be taken on the afternoon by Indiana State. After that bucket by Scott, trying to convert the three-point play, did not do so. And WKU back with the basketball, leading it 13 to five over this Indiana State team. Indiana State won its last two games. WKU has lost its last two games. So WKU trying to get back in the win column. Merrick Nelson right. for WKU seeing his first action, also a freshman. That's him with the ball on the baseline. Yeah, baseline, great pass over to Justin Johnson for the stuff. Nelson got covered up on the baseline, but found Johnson for the easy two. Yeah, that was a good play by Merrick, a good um, mature play. Didn't get hurried when he got uh, got pressured defensively, got a nice pass to Johnson for the finish. And there's a, an offense foul, a legal pick, and the screen will be called against Hughes. That'll be his first shot. So. It may be a good thing Indiana State has plenty of players because right now they may need it before the end of this game. We do have our media timeout on the floor. 15.34 to go here in this first half. Toppers leading it right now 15-5 to over Indiana State. Today's simulcast of WKU Basketball on the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network is produced for Fox College Sports by IMG. We're back here in EA Diddle Arena. The toppers leading the Sycamores 15 to five here in the first half. Time for our injury update brought to you by Med Center Health. And uh, we're gonna talk about no injuries. We're gonna talk about the trainer, the guy that helps prevent the injuries for WKU. John Irwin in his first year, and he's got a pretty good record so far. Of course, toppers can really afford any injuries, Hal. Well, it's injuries, and this time of year, you're concerned about sicknesses too. So uh, he's gonna do everything he can to make sure the guys don't pick up some virus or bug, which tends to be passed around through the team as well. And the toppers just with that thin lineup, that thin bench, just cannot afford anybody sitting there over there. Toppers looking at an Indiana State zone. Nice drive that time in, but unable to, to capture uh, success with it is Bearden, but then Indiana State will turn the ball right back over. Topper shooting a pretty hot 66% here yeah, in six, this opening first six half. Six and nine to start, two of six are the six Sycamores, the, the uh, Indiana State team, one assist, five turnovers. Yeah. Tops four assists, one turnover. Out on top, Bearden, uh, Thompson rather, working it for the Hilltoppers, over to Nelson. Nelson, right corner, it goes to Bearden. Bearden, inside Justin Johnson. Johnson working his left. Puts a little turnaround shot up. He won't get it, but he'll go to the free throw line. Thought he was going to try a left-handed hook for a minute, uh, but he had that little fadeaway jump shot. Johnson, a tough to handle once he's underneath. Well, he's certainly comfortable close to the basket, five to eight feet, using the right or left hand. I uh, thought he got fouled on the, inter on the uh, interior pass. Initially, the defender was playing behind him and reached around, jarred him pretty good trying to get the ball on the pass. But uh, Johnson went to work off the dribble, got fouled. He uh, misses his first free throw. That's the first miss for the Hilltoppers this afternoon from the stripe. Into the game now for the toppers, Jake Omer. Omer, the freshman out of Taylor Mill, Scott County, Kentucky. Johnson misses both free throws. And you can't miss Omer right now on the court. Uh, he's got the lavender blue, or I don't know what kind of blue you call that. Uh, uh, there, it's not red. That's all no, I can no. tell you. I've, I've never had a pair of those kind of blue shoes. There's the foul. Nor, nor will I. Yeah. But nonetheless, uh, we'll, we'll yeah. uh, avoid comments about the fashion. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll look at his form. He's shooting 19 yeah. to 46 from long range, 42%. Does not play as a freshman either. 15 assists, nine turnovers. Jake has been a very integral part. Usually the first guy off the bench for Coach Rick Stansberry, first or second anyway. Um, very integral part of this this team. Plays really a tenacious defense as well. So Jake's going to be a good one. He can wear any color shoes he wants if he uh, uh, continues to perform. There's the alley oop. Nice defensive job that time by Darius Thompson. That was alley oop from about half court. Well. They've been scouted. Greg Lansing knew the Hilltoppers like to switch up defenses and like to run that 1-3-1 one, one zone. It's very effective, and he was looking for that opportunity. Uh, the backside is the weak, weakest side 
of the 131 zone. But that time, Darius Thompson, who's a pretty good sized young man, was roaming that baseline and broke up that, that alley oop. There's the steal. Thompson, who predicted it and uh, goes in for the easy two. And that's the toppers have been so impressive this year. Uh, not only their quickness, but being able to see and know uh, when that ball's coming their way. Yeah, they've done a great job of stepping in front of and intercepting passes. And uh, that time, the great two points came from a super defensive play. Toppers get the rebound here. Omer up the left side, back to Thompson at the top. Davis on the miss on the Indiana State side. Thompson up off the glass, couldn't quite get it. Johnson was blocked out. Indiana State running the other way with it. They're trying to get something going. A three-point shot from the left corner, taken there by Key, not good, and the toppers minimizing it by only allowing the one shot 17 to 5 wk leading it by 12 this crowd likes this right yes, now sir. yes sir so stansbury barking out orders on the sideline telling them to hold up and get the half court set up Thompson over to hollingsworth hollingsworth starts to drive in fires it up from 10 yep he got hit right on the hand and i'll tell you what that's the seventh team foul at the 13 and a half minute mark by indiana state so hollingsworth will go to the line to shoot two but uh, WKU in the in the bonus right now as well. Another freshman for Coach Rick Stansberry. We talked about him leading into the show. Tavion Hollingsworth was the Mr. Kentucky basketball basketball last year. He's one of the team captains. And as a freshman, uh, man, that that yeah. tells me a lot right there. That's what his teammates think of him. And Coach Stansberry thinks a lot of him too. He's the second. He gets the second most minutes of anybody. 33 and a half coming into this game, shooting just a smooth 54 percent from three point land on uh, 13 of 24 shooting, 24 assists, 24 turnovers. He's a very good, smooth player and very unfreshman like. Hollingsworth, his second free throw is up and good. Colby back into the game now for the Hilltoppers. Tyler Miller also making his first appearance, the senior out of Louisville into the game for WKU. And uh, somebody just came in for Hollingsworth as well after he hit that free throw. So uh, basically everybody thus far on the WKU squad has played. There's the steal. Omer comes up with it. Nice pass over to Colby. Couldn't quite hang on to it. Gives it back over to Omer. Doesn't get it. Colby with the rebound. Tries to shoot it while he's laying down. And the travel will be called against Colby. And, uh, and I think over on the Indiana State sideline, Coach Greg Lansing thought there may have been a travel a little bit before that. Yeah, this is unfortunate. The Toppers had a three-on-one break right there, maybe a little too unselfish back to Colby. I don't think he was anticipating the pass. He yeah. couldn't handle it, and uh, it was kind of a busted play at that point. 19-5 to five, Indiana State back with the basketball. Baseline left, the left-handed shooting. Hughes puts that in for his first two, and Indiana State uh, only seven points in the first seven minutes. So Topper defense playing pretty well and very cold shooting by Indiana State. 12.56 to go. Toppers leading it 19 to 7. Top of the key with the ball. Beard. Beard. Thought maybe Hollingsworth was breaking into the basket. Probably would have had an open shot had he had he been able to do that. But yeah. it goes out of bounds and the turnover will give it back over to Indiana State. The third turnover by WKU. Six turnovers by Indiana State. It was Merrick Nelson breaking in from the baseline, and he thought that Bearden was going to shoot just like the defenders did and was not ready for a pass. There's a three-pointer from the right baseline right in front of that hilltopper bench by Hughes. So Hughes, five points in the last couple of trips down. Yeah, he's 19 six, to 10. 6'6 six, six freshman out of Jackson, Tennessee. 12-25 to go. Hilltoppers have led since the start. Over to Jake Omer, Omer into Colby. Nice pass to Tyler Miller, who is fouled, and he will go to the free throw line. That was a great heads up play, but a good backdoor cut by Miller. His man just left him momentarily to reach in and, and try to poke away the dribble. He was not able to do so, and when he did that, Miller broke to the basket, received a really nice pass, was not able to hit. He gets a couple of free throws here. He yep, bangs the first one off the back iron. First free throw attempts of the year by Miller. He'll get another attempt at it. Johnson back into the game for Nelson and WKU. And Indiana State running him in, in and out again. Indiana State, you look at their bench, and uh, they actually fill all the seats with players. WKU, you go about halfway down the bench, and you see some players, but uh, none of them suited up. And Street you see close. trainers and a lot of other things. Nelson missed the second free throw as well. Indiana State back with the basketball, trailing by 9, 19 to 10. Toppers hit their first free th three free throws, and now they're 5 of 9 at the stride. Working it around. Scott will fire it up from three-point range. Not there. Whistle inside. 
Bearden had the rebound for WKU. This will go against Indiana State again, and we'll no. have a timeout. Or, or was it against WKU? No, no against it Tyler Miller. Against Tyler Miller, his first. So a break in the action. WKU still leading it 19 to 10 here from Diddle Arena with 12 minutes to go in this first half. Today's simulcast of WKU basketball on the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network is provided for Fox College Sports by IMG. Chip and his work with Special Olympics, one of 30 senior class award candidates in all of college athletics. Franklin Bank can trust your hometown banking as the toppers make a rejection of the shot inside by Indiana State. Still battling with it, Indiana State and Justin Johnson doing some good defensive work and Bearden with the ball for WKU going the other way. 19 to 10, toppers leading at 11.40 to go in this first half of play. Johnson trying to get his defender up in the air. He didn't need to as he just banks it off the glass and Johnson has six points. Yeah, Rickman's having a hard time defending him, playing behind them, which is probably what you want to do with Justin Johnson. Rickman's a pretty tall lad at 6'9", but Justin Johnson accomplished that little soft hook. Hilltopper basketball brought to you by Prairie Farms, your farmer-owned dairy products, and Prairie Farms made with 100% real dairy. Prairie Farms, the official milk of WKU Athletics. Another turnover by Indiana State. Topper's back with the basketball coming the other way, leading it by 11 at the 11-minute mark. And Topper's going to give it right back over to Indiana State. The fourth turnover by WKU, but thus far seven by Indiana State. Indiana State, the uh, sub will come in. We're at the Bluegrass Cellular broadcast table right here in Diddle Arena, Bluegrass Cellular Press Row. We thank Bluegrass Cellular for all they do for WKU and as well as our presenting season sponsor, Med Center Health, the official healthcare partner of WKU Athletics. Toppers leading it right now, 21 to 10, an 11 point advantage they have never trailed. Barnes back into the game for Indiana State. Toppers doing a good job scoring in the paint, outscoring the Sycamores 14 to two right now, so 14 to 21 points in the red zone. Been a strength for the Toppers as Colby pulls down the miss there by Scott. And Bearden quickly down the other way with the toppers like to run when they can off the glass not there Bearden thought he was fouled yeah, Indiana State back with a rebound Fourth shot Little step off off the glass doesn't go down for Davis And Jake Homer with a steal lead pass to Bearden and Bearden Had it stripped away boy everybody's on the floor That'll Bearden went to the floor Indiana State went to the floor and Justin Johnson is still on the floor So you got about 30% of your players out there uh, trying to pick themselves back up. Well, toppers again, good opportunity for a transition bucket, couldn't get it done, but Justin Johnson in diving for that loose ball took the legs out from under Barnes. Unfortunately, Barnes wasn't hurt. Those are those are tough plays. Barnes shaking up a little, but he's not injured. That'd be the second foul on Justin Johnson. 15 foul, 18 foul so far on Indiana State. And Merrick Nelson will replace just I'm um, assuming Justin Johnson coach Stansbury will try to protect him a little bit Keep him from picking up that foul now. He goes to Hollingsworth instead of Merrick Nelson Indiana State with the basketball trailing by 11 trying to get something going inside Rickman working against Colby not there Good defense by Colby to avoid the foul and still play good defense Yeah, the key is hold those arms straight up and not encroach on the space for the offensive player and Colby did a nice job that time avoiding any contact Toppers back with the basketball, 9.43 to go here in this first half play. Justin Johnson underneath. There's the little right-handed hook, little soft touch gets it in. Johnson now with eight. Justin's doing a nice job, really under control, showing lots of composure, getting the shot that he wants using a controlled dribble. Toppers in that zone. Inside, they find a spot, boy, missed, dunked by Rickman, lost control of the ball, but right there to put it back in was Kessinger. That was good ball movement by the Sycamores that time. They uh, quickly around the horn, got a good look inside, missed it, uh, but got a good follow from Kessinger. Indiana State in the man-to-man -man defense. Nice hands that time, slapped away by Brenton Scott. Tried to get it back to him and slapped out of bounds by WKU. It'll remain Indiana State's basketball as Tavion Hollingsworth checks back into the Hilltopper lineup. WKU 
Virginia basketball brought to you this year by JBK Network Consulting. JBK Network Consulting and Cisco System been working together for a long time, been 25 years with the power of Cisco System. JBK Network Consulting works with the most prestigious and largest companies in the area and surrounding states, offering a complete line of voice over IP, wireless indoor and outdoor, and a host of superior security solutions, including the best in professional service. Toppers leading at 23 to 12, Indiana State with a basketball, working it around the horn. And the three-point shot, Indiana State, only their second, uh, their third three-pointer. This one goes down by Brenton Scott. A deep, a deep three by Scott that time. And that'll pull Indiana State within eight now at 23 to 15. Toppers back with the ball. The Toppers have committed three turnovers in the last three minutes after being a, running a, a pretty good first uh, first few minutes. Hey, Hollingsworth <laughs> off the basket with his first field goal this afternoon. 25-15, Topper is back on top by double digit 10, 8-14 to go. Man to man defense, this trip down by the Hilltoppers. Driving it in, and rejected by Dwight Colby. Well, Colby's got a couple of rejections here this afternoon. That one, fortunately, the Hilltoppers were able to maintain control. Yeah, he leads the team with 18 blocks coming in today. There's Omer from way deep, in and out. Didn't go in, but uh, that's his range, believe it or not. Scott works it around over at top of the key. It goes to Barnes. Barnes now right side in front of the Hilltopper bench. will come back across deep left baseline. Work it back again to Scott. Back with the basketball. Shot clock down to 10 seconds. Good defense by the Hilltoppers. There's the three. It'll be taken by Key off the rim. Not there. And with a rebound, Darius Thompson for the Hilltoppers coming the other way with it. Slapped away from behind and taken by Tyreek Key. And boy, Thompson may have got away with one. No, nope. boy, uh, Lansing will not like that at all. And they say, uh, as Tyler Hollingsworth hits the two, that Bearden reached around and slapped the ball away. Yeah, Coach Lansing not, yeah. uh, not, not happy, obviously. Well, I'll uh, tell you, from this angle, I, I thought. Uh, <laughs> I thought we were going to get a whistle in as well, but official right on top of it. Toppers back out on top by 12. Inside, Colby may have gotten a piece of that, but the ball still goes in by Davis. Yeah, Davis, nice drive to the basket, got it up and over. Colby off the square. 10 point advantage now for WKU. Back with the basketball, 6.29 to go here in the first half of play. Hollingsworth. Picked up in the man-to-man -man defense by Scott. Hollingsworth tries to come off the screen by Colby. Colby will fire it up from just inside the three-point line and knocked it down. Not, the not prettiest usually shots. what you see. No, not the prettiest of shots and not, uh, not his normal range, but he felt comfortable. And there's the stuff that makes the Indiana State faithful happy. Tyreek Key and Coach uh, Stansberry probably not happy with that defensive effort right there. Yep, he's uh, looking yeah. at Jake Homer as he comes off the court shaking his hands. Head. 30-second timeout called. This is going to take a break, and we will be back with more from EA Dental Arena. Today's simulcast of WKU Basketball on the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network is produced. We are back here in Diddle Arena, the Hilltoppers and Sycamores, 29 to 19 in favor of WKU. Hilltopper basketball brought to you by KCTCS. Higher education begins here. And as always, our presenting season sponsor, Med Center Health, the presenting sponsor of the 2017-18 Hilltopper basketball season. Well, the Hilltoppers still shooting the ball pretty well, 60% to 33%, Hal, for Indiana State. Toppers uh, working the ball inside. As you see, Coach Greg Lansing for his Indiana State team that has never been ahead this game. Well, they're scrappy. Indiana State is really battling to uh, stay close in this one. And even though the Hilltoppers are shooting much better, and there's an easy breakaway there in the middle by Darius Thompson, even though the Toppers are shooting much better, they still can't pull away from this Indiana State. They're, they're battling hard. 12-point lead. Toppers, again, uh, getting a lot of points in the paint. A lot of those are on open shots up. Foul away from, uh, rather, on the ball will be the reach in on Tavion Hollingsworth. It'll be his first and the team's sixth. So one more, and Indiana State will be going to the free throw line. They've been there once so far, part of the three point play. Underneath the Indiana State basket, getting the ball in. 
Davis inside up off the glass, gets the two, and they'll try to convert it to a three-pointer. Davis with his second field goal. Davis averaging 11 points off the bench. 79% free throw shooter, Kedara Davis. From Atlanta, has originally played with Louisiana Tech and then has made his way up to Indiana State. 6 by senior. Coach Stansbury is showing confidence in Justin Johnson, his senior, leaving him in there with two fouls. Yeah. And Tavion Hollingsworth, yeah. a freshman. Yeah, and, and Justin, you saw right there on the rebound, was very uh, um, laid back a little bit and trying not to get that third foul. And Indiana State actually got the rebound, but then turned it back over to the Hilltoppers. Toppers up 31-21 with 5.24 to go in the first half of play. Jeff Young of Hal Schmidt. Randy Lee is in Florida, Orlando. As a Hilltopper football team playing in the Cure Bowl against Georgia State out of the Sun Belt. Oh, oh my goodness. Goodness. What a move by Levante Beard. Just, he, he has a different gear for speeds, oh. Jeff. He had a quick pivot and reversal there in the paint against his defenders. Defender tried to get a little too close. Was off balance because of the move. Bearden got the ball up quickly and was fouled. We'll get a chance at the three-point play right here. Second foul on Key. The ninth team foul, so Toppers will be shooting two from here on out. Bearden at the line, two for two, and make it three for three. Lamonte Bearden, now with seven points. to tie team high scoring with Dwight Colby, who also has seven. Toppers leading it, 34-21. They are keeping a close to a 10 point lead. Boy, nice pass inside. And roll. Nice pick and roll to Kessinger. Kessinger caught in stride, went straight up, scored. It's the team back within 11. 34-23, Toppers with the lead. Good stands very on the sideline, shouting out instructions to Beard. Beard starts to work one-on-one, -on -one. double team, dishes it off over to Thompson. Thompson drives in, dishes it back over to Beard for the two boys. You talk about an unselfish team, and they always just seem to know where the open man is. Yeah, Thompson is... Uh, just sees the floor so well. He received a lot of defensive pressure there and got the ball to a streaking Bearden from the left corner. Bearden now with nine points on the morning. About 15 more minutes will be the afternoon. Coppers leading it. Long three-point shot taken by Barnes, not there. Rebound as the Toppers quickly down court. Hollingsworth makes the adjustment, didn't get it to go in. Had, was going in against the bigger Davis. Made a nice adjustment, but just touched it a little bit too hard off the glass. Indiana State back with the basketball. Left corner, deep, the three-pointer up, not there. And Colby had position, and he'll be fouled by Kessinger, and that'll be his second foul. Well, Kessinger is a banger. He ought to be a hockey player. That'll be the 10th team foul with 3.56 to go. We're going to take a break in the action as the Hilltoppers leading it by 13 right now over Indiana State. Today's simulcast of WKU Basketball on the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network is produced for Fox College Sports by IMG. Big Red making his uh, early morning appearance here for the WKU Hilltoppers. WKU leading it 36-23 with 3.56 to go here in this first half of play. And, Hal, uh, you got to be pretty impressed for an early morning start by this Hilltopper basketball team. They're playing very well. They, I don't think they paid any attention to the time. They uh, they came out with, a, uh, with an intensity that you want to see them start a game with, built an early lead that they have not relinquished this game. Their lead right now at 13, one shy of the high for this game is 14. So Dwight Colby, his free throw can match their longest lead and he makes it. Colby, as we said, 72% free throw shooter, averaging 11 points and uh, almost a little bit over seven rebounds a game. Second shot by Colby, comes up short every time. 37-23 with a 14 point advantage, the largest by the Hilltoppers. There's the trap as Indiana State gets it across in Hollingsworth kicked it and this has got to be and, uh, and, and how you've been watching them all season but one of the quickest hand and foot teams uh, that I have seen uh, in a long time and, and not just one player I mean from Bearden Hollingsworth uh, Thompson they, they all just yeah they extremely quick they do they tip a lot of balls they, they make a lot of interceptions they force some bad passes 
Um, they defend it. They defend it pretty well. I love the fact that they change it up, and I've always been a, a fan of that one-three-one half-court trap, and they're running it really, really well this year. Colby with a rebound off the missed shot by Indiana State, 37-23. Toppers by 14, and uh, a nice pass that time by Beard. And, uh, Indiana State bench wasn't quite ready for it, but uh, he had an open shot if he had taken it. Well, Thompson was getting uh, a little pressure on the wing, so the way you break that pressure is cut back door. That's what he was doing, but Bearden thought he was going to continue on out to receive the pass. A little miscommunication. Tops commit their eighth turnover. Well, you know, for a team that only really returned one, two players, the, the communication is pretty darn good right now between people who have not played together throughout various seasons. There's yeah, that's turnover. One of the amazing things about this team is how, with all the new faces, they've been able to gel so quickly. They have tremendous chemistry. They like each other. See them interact on the road. Really encouraging. Bearden thought he had Thompson momentarily. And that, that trip uh, earlier in the year certainly uh, has helped this team. They've been together. There's a travel called by the official on WKU. You you see what the fans think about or you hear what the I, fans think I agree about. with the fans. It. That was the ninth turnover on the Hilltoppers. Colby was just getting mugged on the baseline or down on the block. Tried to jump up through it, but somehow that was interpreted as a travel. Indiana State back with the basketball. Uh, half court trap, unsuccessful. Barnes back with it. Top of the key. There's the nice. alley oop boy. You saw that one coming. Nice dunk by Davis on the pass there by Scott. Barnes or Davis. Barnes, rather. Yeah, Barnes uh, leads his team with four assists per game. And uh, again, as a freshman, he's quite an accomplished player. Sees the floor very well. Coming up on the two minute mark, Beard with the basketball. Toppers back by 12. That shot blocked by. Indiana State on Beard and then Colby gets the rebound and goes back up and the foul will go against Indiana State. That'll be on Hughes, his third. So Indiana State been piling up some of the fouls. They can afford it. They got a little bit more bench than WKU. And Colby will be at the free throw line for the fourth time in this first half. Colby with eight points, make it nine. Into the game for WKU, Merrick Nelson will replace Lamonte Bearden. And back into the game for Indiana State comes Tyreek Key. He's working with a couple of fouls. Johnson on the Hilltopper bench right now with a couple as Colby knocks down one out of two. And the Toppers back up to a 13 point advantage at 38 25. Toppers only 8 of 14 at the strike this afternoon. Hope that doesn't come back to haunt them. Long shot missed by Barnes and the rebound, long rebound taken down by Thompson. Thompson thought about the three, looked inside to Colby and said, gets it over to Omer. Back over to Thompson. Gets instructions from Coach Rick Stansberry. A minute 47 to go, first half of play. Over to Colby, they'll work it around the horn down to the right baseline. Over to Omer. Omer wide open for a three point. Little Easy, hard. you can write that down. Just missed it. Scott with the rebound, trying to go coast to coast. Homer goes down, no whistle on either side of it. And uh, I think Lansing wanted a foul. And, and Colby again with a stop. Up now with their biggest lead of 15. 40 to 25, and the 32nd timeout will be taken very quickly by the Sycamores. And while we have a chance, we will tell you very quickly also that our presenting season sponsor is Med Center Health, the presenting sponsor of the 2017-18 Hilltopper basketball season. 25-40, WKU leading it. Now the quick timeout, and as we look at our replay and Colby with the stuff, the assist of the game comes from Jake Omer, who not only can shoot the three, but he can also uh, make some pretty doggone good passes. Our assistant game brought to you by Luxury Imports, South Central Kentucky's Mercedes-Benz dealer. So with a minute 17 seconds to go in this first half, Indiana State has the ball back. WKU 40 first half points. Thus far, only 25 for Indiana State. Topper is still shooting the ball very well at 59% to Indiana's 34%. And our final minute of play brought to you by Minute Mart. After the steal, Minute Mart 
for everyone living life on the go. So the topper is back with the basketball for this final minute here in this first half. Hollingsworth picks up his second steal of the game. Toppers looking to extend this lead going into halftime. 40-25, WKU Hollingsworth out to Thompson, way out front. Indiana State in his own. Thompson will fire it up from three. Got it. Well, that's Darius great play. Thompson. His defender backed off a little bit, anticipating the screen, which was there. Thompson didn't use it. He just knocked down the three. Barnes returns the favor for the Sycamores. Buries a three of his own at the other end. Tops can hold for the last shot, 20 seconds. 43-28. 15-point advantage for the Hilltoppers. Their largest lead has been 18. That was just a moment ago. They could make it 17 or 18 if uh, they hit a shot right here. Last five seconds. Omer will try to hit it from three. That was partially blocked, tipped. And so Indiana State will fire one up from uh, just beyond half court and unsuccessful. But the topper still a pretty good first half, Hal. 43-28, not a whole lot to complain about. No, they played pretty well. Got a little lackadaisical. I believe that's what Coach Stansbury was upset for and called that timeout. I uh, was especially barking at Jake Omer during that particular exchange. But a pretty good half overall for the Hilltoppers. Shot the ball well, defended well, and I thought absorbed the aggressive defense by the Sycamores pretty well. Toppers will go in leading at the half. 43-28, 15-point advantage for WKU. A simulcast of WKU basketball on the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network is produced for Fox College Sports by IMG. Second half, getting ready to tip it off. Toppers leading it 43 to 28. You know, we uh, only had one three-point shot uh, made by the Hilltoppers. That was a South Central Bank tree. South Central Bank home of the official debit card of WKU Athletics. But Toppers... Uh, only took how five three-pointers and uh, Omer was 0 for 3 and you don't expect Jake Omer to go a game without hitting a three-pointer. Jake was one of three bench players that came in and made a shot attempt but didn't hit any so the Hilltopper bench scoreless in the first one to 11 for Indiana State. Indiana State after the ball started off and Topper's back with the ball. The pass underneath to Justin Johnson. Couldn't quite get her to go in. A little right-handed hook. And he was two for two on his hook shots today. Well, he was working against Murphy. Murphy limited to one minute in the first half. He picked up two quick fouls. He's a very good rebounder. He backed off a little bit on Johnson. And Johnson knocked down the short one from in front of the rim. 17-point advantage for the Hilltoppers. Their largest lead has been 18. Scott will try to fire it up on three. Not there. Rebound pulled down by Thompson. Toppers. Long pass, Johnson right underneath. Couldn't quite get it back up and in. He gets it over to Hollingsworth for the three. Didn't get it to go down. Indiana State with a rebound. Scott coming the other way. 45-28, Toppers leading it. 19 minutes to go in the basketball game. They have led the entire game. Barnes looked like he uh, may have came down tender initially on an ankle, but uh, taking it off. Three-pointer taken by Davis. And Indiana State not having a whole lot of luck with the three-pointers either. And boy, Topper just get the ball down for it so quickly as Beard will go to the free throw line after the foul by Indiana State. So good Lansing not going to waste much time in getting some fresh players in there. But they're always looking down court. Saw Darius Thompson a couple of her possession ago hit Justin Johnson with the length of the court pass. And Johnson pulled it out, gave it up to Tavion, and took the Three. It was a good shot. Catch it in stride. You know, it's not not guarded. It just was a little bit too long on the shot. Well, Coach Lansing uh, didn't take long to be unhappy with at least four of his players in there because he has just put four new players in for Indiana State. As we said, they go about ten deep into the bench, so they yeah, may not be giving up all that much. But uh, coming out of halftime, uh, they must have not been listening too well in the locker room. <laughs> well, 80 seconds into it, and they're back on the bench. Beard with a second free throw coming his way, trying to extend that Hilltopper lead to 18, and he does. That's been the largest, 46, 28. Toppers by 18. Hometown fans pretty happy right now. And uh, a good early Christmas gift for a Hilltopper fan. Hilltoppers will take on Belmont Tuesday night. That'll be a good game, too. Yes, it will. Driving inside, Colby thought he got a piece of the ball, and he may have got a piece of the ball, but he also got a piece of Tyreek Key, who will go, go to the free throw line as Colby go. picks up his second foul. That's, that's okay. Colby had three blocks in that first half. He's gotten the Sycamore's attention. He also had five rebounds to lead the way for the Hilltoppers on the glass. Tyreek Key, uh, 
Misses the free throw. Only two points so far. He came in averaging almost 10 points. He's a 72% free throw shooter, but Indiana State hasn't had a whole lot of luck from the free throw line either. One of four. They extend their yeah. pressure to a, uh, looks like a possibly a 2 1 2 three quarter court anyway. It's pretty passive that time. I think they're measuring it, looking for an opportunity to trap. It just didn't come. 46 29. Hilltoppers will look for the open shot, but uh, again, they've got things in pretty good. Oh, boy. That would have been a, been a nice dunk by Colby. Just couldn't quite. Johnson lofted it up to him, but uh, one hand, left hand, and just couldn't quite get it. Uh, of course, he was fouled, too, so that probably didn't uh, help his case. Yeah, they were definitely on the same page, Johnson and Colby there. The weak link for that uh, half court um, zone is the free throw line. If you can get a guy open at the free throw line, get the ball to him, that's when the defense in that zone starts to break down. That time Colby on the back line was able to get the lob from, from Johnson. He just couldn't convert. He missed his first free throw. Ojanaka on that foul for Indiana State. And Colby misses two free throws. Hit his first uh, two. He missed one, hit one, and now has missed his last three. Three of seven at the strike today. Yep. Toppers have uh, not had a great afternoon from the, or morning, actually. It's very kind of you. 50% yeah. is worse yeah. than not great. It stinks. Yeah. You know, I'm an eternal optimist. Glass I know. is still half full. I know. Nice pass that time, but unable to handle it was Rickman, who got a lot of playing time in the first half. But uh, that was a, a bullet pass. That was a, a, a Brett Favre pass from about five feet away. Rickman got a lot of time in the first half because of Murphy picking up those first two fouls. So uh, Rickman's earned himself a little more time here this half. 17-39 to go in the basketball game. Toppers just uh, maintaining that double-digit lead. They've had it most of the game. Indiana State pulled within nine earlier in the first half, but it's been pretty much Toppers since then. Ten seconds now on the shot clock inside, They're trying to get the ball into Johnson, and Rickman will be called for the reach around. That'll only be his first foul. Well, that was a nice uh, pass to the baseline. Johnson had the defender on his left hip. The baseline was the open pass, and as the bounce pass came in, Rickman tried to come over the top and poke the ball away, but he had his hand on Johnson's hip and was riding him pretty hard. Saw first a move foul like on Rickman, but Murphy back into the game now with those two fouls. Saw a move like that in Cody, Wyoming, when I went to a rodeo out there, <laughs> and the guy on the Bronco had him had him strapped pretty good. Didn't have much to do with basketball, though. Did it? Nice no, it little didn't. running off the glass shot by Darius Thompson. Boy, so smooth looking he when he does that. 48-29, a 19-point advantage for the Toppers. They've had this game in pretty good shape. So uh, if you're wondering how they were going to rebound from that tough loss at Wisconsin on Wednesday, nice little hook shot up there by Murphy, his first two. And the toppers have responded pretty well so far. You want to keep it going, though. 48-31. Thompson will fire it up from three. He's got the only three by WKU so far. Missed this one, and the rebound pulled down there by Hughes. Indiana State coming the other way, driving it in, and pulling it back out was Barnes. They go back inside with their big guy, Murphy. Murphy, little left-handed, didn't want to hook. Nice pass and a reverse layup there by Indiana State's Tyree Key. Yeah, that was a great cut to the baseline. Murphy on the fake shot, found Key streaking to the basket, got that down. Indiana State. Gets a little bit closer, inching closer. 15 down now at the 16-13 mark. Hollingsworth thought about the three. Back out on top. Boy, almost lost it. Slipped right out of his hands. Inside it goes to Johnson. Back over to Hollingsworth. Bearden thought about the three. Now he'll just kind of throw it up, but he was uh, fouled on the floor. He's, referee says no shot. It'll go against number 11. Jeff mentioned... Uh, I want to mention Justin Johnson has moved up on WKU's all-time scoring list. He's moved into 26th place, surpassing um, Mike Wells. 1,238 points coming into this game tonight, so he has moved up and passed Mike Wells. Justin. Could end up and probably should end up being a member of the double 1,000 point, 1,000 point and 1,000, possibly 1,000 re rebound club. He's got 70, 786 coming into the day. So he'd have to be at a pretty good clip, but still very possible. The drive by Hollingsworth doesn't quite go down. He'll go to the free throw line. 48-33 with 15.45 to go. There'll be a timeout on the court. Topper is still leading it coming out of halftime. 
keeping that lead for WKU. Today's simulcast of WKU Basketball on the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network is produced for Fox College Sports by IMG. The Hilltoppers leading the Sycamores, 48-33 here from Diddle Arena. WKU and uh, Christmas break, so a lot of WKU students gone, so we need to get some help from some local bands that uh, learned the WKU fight song and uh, doing very well with it. Say Hollingsworth will be going to the free throw line. Mind you that Hilltopper basketball brought to you by JBK Network Consulting and Cisco Systems. Been working together for a long time. Been 25 years with Power Cisco Systems. JBK Network Consulting works for the most prestigious and largest companies in the area and surrounding states. They offer a complete line of voice over IP, wireless, indoor and outdoor, and a host of superior security solutions, including the best in professional service. Next time you're ready to expand or just want to start a new company or business, venture on rock solid ground, give JBK Network Consulting a call for all your Cisco superior products. They are IP everything as Hollingsworth hits one out of two free throws to expand that WKU lead just a little bit. And Toppers uh, continue to shoot the ball pretty well, 57% for the game, 50% from the field. In fact, probably doing a better job from the field than they are from the free throw line, or at least as good. 49-33. Shot clock now down inside of 10. Indiana State with the basketball. Barnes working as Toppers defensively will come up with another steal. Colby with his hands on the ball gets it over to Beard. Beard brings it up the court. Drives left, and then the travel will call, so WKU will give the ball right back over to Indiana State. The tenth turnover on the Toppers this afternoon. Toppers have done a good job defensively on Barnes. He's the leading scorer for Indiana State, 17 and a half a game. He's been limited to six here today. It just has not really got much space to get quality looks. WKU's defensive effort's been pretty good. Now and then, uh, a little bit of a breakdown. And there's just a nice power move that time by Brandon Murphy, who didn't play very much in the first half because of foul trouble. He's got four points here this second half. He's, he is definitely the most skilled four-court player, front-court player. He, uh, he, he's, he works really patiently on the block, and his big body allows him to get some open looks inside. 14-point advantage now for WKU. Jake Omer will check into the Hilltopper lineup. Boy, Johnson couldn't quite hang on to it, put it up, but got his own rebound, put it back in. A little hook shot, and Johnson with his second field goal of this half, and he's in double digits at 12. You know, again, Murphy there to break that up initially, but Johnson stayed with it and got another bucket. And the foul will go inside against Colby. It'll be his third for WKU in the uh, third, second rather, team foul. As Jake Omer comes into the game for Lamonte Beard. Topper's third game in six days. And that was after a week of finals. So it'll be basketball only for a little while here. Davis at the free throw line, 0 for 1 so far. And he hits the first. Well, actually, it was a three point play. So he's got nine points on the, uh, on the afternoon so far. 14.09 to go. Let's see if Omer can score for the toppers to get some points for that bench. Usually, their bench is pretty dependable for some buckets, but none yet. Omer 0 for 3 from three point range. Out of bounds. Underneath WKU basket it'll still be WKU basketball you don't think it's the blue shoes do you <laughs> I um, no I don't think so no maybe it is I, I go back to the red or the white ones Omer set to throw the ball in gets it into Thompson 10 oh, seconds nice. on the shot clock nice pass into Colby good defensive job that time by Indiana State shot clock now down to six Thompson will fire it up for three got her and another South Central Bank tree, home of the official debit card of WKU Athletics, South hey, Central Bank. Running the court, Darius Thompson poking that ball away in transition. So Darius Thompson gets it done in the offensive end. I think he's been WKU's most consistent player this season. He has been really good from right down the road, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Leading scorer for WKU coming in, averaging 14.2 points a game. And uh, the impressive stat, though, coming into the game, 43 assists to only 19 turnovers. So a nice turnover to assist ratio. Assist to turnover. Whatever you want to look at it. Slapped out of bounds. It'll belong to WKU. 
15th turnover on the Sycamores this afternoon. Tops bring it the length. No full court pressure. 54-38. Toppers leading it by 16. Thompson will walk the ball across the court. Gets it across the court over to Hollingsworth. Back it comes to Thompson. Indiana State in a 1-3-1. Hollingsworth thought about a three over to Thompson. He's feeling it now. Boy, oh, had a nice release. Johnson battling for the rebound. Momentarily had it, but stepped out of bounds with it. It'll go over to Indiana State. Thompson's jumper looked good. Boy, it looked good from here, didn't it? Or shoot in and out on him. Down in the basket and then back out. It'll be Indiana State basketball coming the other way. 13-21 to go. First, second half of play. 54-38 WKU. Top of the key, Kessinger. Still the man-to-man. Man. 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 Indiana State just uh, doesn't seem real crisp. And credit WKU with some of that. Boy, Johnson had his hand on the rebound. Tapped it off the glass with Colby there to pick it up for the Hilltop. Back on offense, 54 38, 12 54 to go. Good stands very dark. So, what offense he wants his toppers to run over in the right corner baseline. But tough pass for Colby to handle as Thompson passed it to him right at his feet. A lot of traffic in there. So, it'll be a hell of a ball and it'll go. Possession to WKU. Good pass, uh, good, good play. The pass was a little bit low from uh, Thompson to. Colby was down around his knees a little bit and he had trouble handling it. Topper still with the basketball. Shot clock didn't change. Omer with it, drives it up off the glass, blocked momentarily out of bounds, never did glass, but Tavion Hollingsworth right there to steal it back for the Hilltoppers. Indiana State looking to run the other way, but again, those quick hands that WKU has and Hollingsworth draws the foul off of Barnes. It'll be his second. Six on Indiana State this half, yeah. so the toppers will quickly be, with the next foul, will be in the one and one. Well, maybe that's what Indiana State wants the toppers to do because yeah. free throw shooting has not been their strength. The uh, toppers hitting right now from the free throw, 10 of 20, so that they've been shooting better from the field than they have from the free throw line, so maybe Indiana State says put them at the free throw line. Could be a method a of madness. Don't know that that's ever been a philosophy, but Johnson, a little oh, in and out. Colby uh, interfered with that ball a little bit. They'll say he touched it while it was still in the cylinder. So it'll go back over to Indiana State. Yeah, it was, uh, I believe it was going in. Yeah. It looked like it to me. Colby got a big mid up there on it, jarred it loose. Indiana State back with a basketball. Coming up on 12 minutes to play. Western has never trailed in this basketball game. Led the entire morning and afternoon now. And opening period over. Opening tip, Bearden scored on yeah. that within the first six, six seconds. seconds. That's right. There's a three-point shot way wow. off the mark a little bit. Colby had the rebound, slapped out of his hand, but it'll still belong to WKU. 11.51 to go in the game. WKU leading it by 16 as we have a timeout on the court, and the Hilltoppers still with that lead. Today's simulcast of WKU Basketball on the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network is produced for Fox College Sports by IMG. Sponsored by Passport Health Plan. WKU Basketball also brought to you by U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank proud to be the exclusive cornerstone partner of WKU Athletics. It's been all WKU this morning and this afternoon for those of you in the uh, central time zone. 54-38 right now. Toppers leading it. Johnson tried to get the pass inside to Colby coming out of that break, and Colby couldn't quite hang on to a lot of Indiana State hands up in the way. 12 top return over. Good idea. He tried to just get a pass over the top of the double team into Colby down to the bucket, but the pass hit the hit the bottom of the rim, and that sort of disrupted the whole thing. 54-38, Indiana State. Uh, and boy, Thompson was ready to come the other way with it. Again, those quick hands. He slapped the ball, but he got a piece of the Indiana State player as well, and so that'll be uh, the foul against Thompson, just his second. Third on the toppers this half. Toppers will be shooting free throws here uh, on the next foul by Indiana State. 16 fouls on Indiana State. They're a little bit deeper for a little stutter step. Uh, looked a little funny from here. So did that. Yeah, they got a couple of little. That was Scott with it. Inside, they'll go to the big guy up off the glass, and Murphy has six, all six this half. Well, they certainly missed his presence in the first half again. He only played one first half minute due to picking up two quick fouls. 
Think of it as lost time this half. Back with the basketball, leading by 14 on their own den. In front of the Hilltopper bench, Thompson looking inside. Johnson, he's double teamed, covered up, looking for help. And gets a wide open Hollingsworth for the three. Ah, there. Oh, the right three. Hopefully, the official Debit card will give you a good. It's Hollingsworth with his first three. Great assist from senior Justin Johnson kicking that ball out to the weak side. Hollingsworth considered it and knocked it down. Yeah, foul on Colby on the other end of the court is Indiana State looking like to make a concerted effort to go down underneath to their big guy, Murphy. That's four on Colby. He'll probably sit for. Uh, at least till the next media timeout, which would give him a couple of minutes to sit. This will be Murphy's first trip to the free throw line. 68% free throw shooter on the year. And Merrick Nelson will come into the game for the Hilltoppers as Murphy hits the first free throw. Colby will go to the bench with four fouls. And Colby so far on the uh, afternoon with 11 points and seven rebounds. Field toppers give up some size going Nelson for Colby, but they pick up a clean slate on the on the fouls. Mel Merrick Nelson, no fouls yet. 57-42, 15-point advantage. Merrick played six minutes, six first half minutes, didn't attempt a shot, and had one assist in that period. Another one of those Hill Topper freshmen. Uh, so the future looks pretty bright for WKU. Uh, the season not going too bad either. Yeah, great recruiting class uh, for next year. So this will be a complete roster for the Hilltoppers, yeah. fortunately, next year. A couple of guys on the bench will be eligible next year as well. Homer from the corner, that may have been tipped as well. Homer just uh, may think about changing those shoes for next game. 57-42, crowd wanted a travel call there. Didn't happen. Toppers in their man-to-man -man defense. Inside, there's the foul against WKU, and uh, you may have spoke too soon. I think Nelson just picked up his first foul, as he does. Yeah, that was uh, he reached in and hammered down on the ball. That was prior to the shot, so fourth team foul, or 15 foul, excuse me, on the Hilltoppers. Under 10 minutes to go in this basketball game. Uh, again, this reminder, the Hilltopper football team in Orlando, Florida, as the travel is called against Indiana State. Much of the delight of uh, this partisan crowd but Randy Lee along with Leo Peckinpah down for the Cure Bowl as the toppers try to finish the season above 500 an important game for the toppers to carry some momentum over into to next year I don't think uh, you'd get an argument even from the coaches or the players that this has been a little bit of a disappointing season for them yeah, they kind of faded into the stretch lost four of their last five games but good recruiting year lots of the uh, cast will be back for next year Nelson cutting across the middle. He'll be fouled, and that foul will go. No, I thought it might be against Murphy again, but instead, it was against number five, Kessinger, his third. And WKU shooting free throws now. Nelson will be at the free throw line. Looking for his first points this afternoon, a 61% free throw shooter. And the bonus, so Nelson will have to make one to earn one. Tyreek Key into the game now for Indiana State. He replaces Kidara Davis. He is a freshman out of Salina, Tennessee. So uh, a little bit of a homecoming. Close. Clay County. Tennessee has one of those two and Kentucky. Nelson missed the free throw. Really flat on that free throw. Yeah. Hasn't uh, been there a lot this season, obviously. Nine minutes to go in the basketball game. Scott will fire it up in three, not there. Nelson with a rebound for the Hilltoppers. Gets it over to Darius Thompson. Thompson will now walk it across half court. Who stands redirecting traffic from his perch on the baseline. 57-42, 15-point advantage. Omer with the basketball. I think his reputation starting to precede him. He is a shooter, no doubt. Johnson over the corner. Hollinsworth. There's over to uh, Omer. Just can't find it right now. That one wasn't blocked. It was close, but didn't go in. And there's the three answering on the other end by Jordan Barnes. He's got three of them this afternoon. It's his ninth point. Omer looking for his first. He's just been a little bit off. He had a good look at last possession, but just couldn't uh, couldn't find the range. As close as Indiana State has been. 
since halftime. They're within 12 at 57-45. Hollinsworth pulls up. Jumper not there. Indiana State with a rebound. Topper's got to be careful. A lot of time still left in this game. Indiana State, the chance to, for the three, would get it under double digits. Barnes will try, but he was way off, and Nelson with the rebound. They shot a little bit quick there. Thompson walks it across again, half court. Rick Stansberry wants to run the offense. Indiana State in a zone, 2-3. Thompson, top of the key. Work it around, Omer back over to Thompson. Good ball movement, Hollingsworth drives baseline, and he is fouled as he goes right to the base of that Believe goal. On Kessinger, and, uh, no. Uh, be on 34 Murphy, that'll be his third foul. With 7.30 to go in this basketball game, we're going to take a break. The Hilltoppers leading it by 12, 57-45. Today's simulcast at WKU Basketball on the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network is produced for Fox College Sports by IMG. Back here in EA Diddle Arena. Good turnout for this afternoon's game as the Hilltoppers leading at 57-45. Uh, started out as a morning game, an afternoon game. Right now, Hilltopper basketball brought to you this year by Pizza Hut, proud to support WKU Athletics and IGA, our favorite neighborhood grocer and the official grocer of WKU Athletics. With the Bluegrass Cellular Press Row at Diddle Arena, and our thanks again to our presenting season sponsor, Med Center Health, the presenting sponsor of the 2017-18 Hilltopper basketball season. Tay Hollingsworth at the line for WKU will shoot a pair. Hollingsworth uh, has one of the two free two three pointers for WK this afternoon. Rolls that free throw in. Toppers come into this game with 140 assists and 131 turnovers on the season. Jeff, this afternoon, uncharacteristically, that number is reversed. They're nine assists to 12 turnovers. So that'll be one thing Coach Stansbury's not going to be tickled about. Oh, great steal that time by Nelson. He just went up, stole it. We'll take it in for the two. Nice job by Merrick Nelson. Well, yeah, that's the effectiveness of that 1-3-1. One, one. When you got a long, lean guy out front that can make those deflections and pass interceptions, uh, that's what you get. Indiana State back on offense. Toppers in a 2-3 zone. And there's the travel. Boy, a lot of travels this afternoon by Indiana State. Teeth turnover on the Sycamores. Scott called for that one. Ball goes back over to WKU leading it. They've got it back up to 16. Indiana State pulled within 12, but just can't quite get over the hump. 61-45, WKU, 6.52 to go. Thompson. Nelson, top of the key over to Colby, way outside his range. Hollingsworth thought about the three over to Omer inside to Colby. Nice ball movement again. Uh, now it stalls a little bit. Thompson back with Omer, top of the key, working it around. Hollingsworth, shot clock now down to five. Omer straight away. Boy, up the front of the rim, not there. Colby tipped it, but Indiana State comes away with it. Scott going to try to drive in, dishes it off. Barnes with a three, got it. His fourth of the afternoon. He's got 12, all of his points from yeah. beyond the arc. 61-48. Back to a 13-point game. Indiana State can shoot the three. Toppers just kept it going the whole time. Oh, Eric goodness. Nelson. Oh, it was a great move by Nelson. To, just took it in off the baseline, was met there by uh, Imande Rickman, a much larger young man, but somehow powered up through the contact and scored. There's the pass taken by Omer on the overthrow, and there's Omer's two. But if you can't get it from three, then just put the layup in from two. That's his first points. Good steal, good transition buck at the eighth of the eighth point of the afternoon in transition for the tops. Indiana State will answer with a three. This time it's Scott, oh no, two. It was, looked like he was almost far enough away, but the officials called it a two. Brenton Scott with that two. And it's 65-50 in favor of WKU. Thompson thought about a three. Hollingsworth will fire it up from three. Boy, he's hot too. Another South Central Bank tree. That just breaks, breaks the spine 
of the zone. You're making them work. Topper's doing a nice job of passing around the perimeter and making that zone move. Now we got a three-point shooting contest going on right now. Brenton Scott does get the three that time, and it's 68-53. 15-point advantage for the Hilltoppers. About a 30% shooter on the season from beyond the arc. There's Omer. He'll fire it up again from three. There it is. Jake Omer. The South Central Bank tree. But with the official debit card of WKU Athletics. So finally, Jake Omer. A little bit cold to start out. But get things going for the toppers. And uh, Indiana State can ill afford to swap out threes. in not enough time. Yeah, it's, uh, time is beginning to be a factor for Greg Lansing and, and his squad. Over on the visitors bench, Jake Gomer finally gets on track from beyond the arc and nails that one. Toppers have shot the ball well this afternoon, not so much from distance, but they have shot the ball well over 50% for the game. Toppers leading at 71-53. As we said, they have never trailed in this basketball game this afternoon. As the toppers will if able to hang on to this lead, snap that two-game losing streak, and pick up a, a much important win. Hilltopper basketball brought to you by Taco Bell, because sometimes you've got to live moss. And as we said, South Central Bank, home of the official debit card of WKU Athletics. Hey, fans, we have a terrific way for your children to become involved with WKU Athletics. Have your children join Big Reds Rascals. Only $20 a year and only $15 if you're an HAF member. Your children receive admission to over 75 regular season events, an official T-shirt, membership card, famous red towel, and much more. For more information, go to WKUSports.com or call 270-745-6048. Big Reds Rascals brought to you by Kentucky 811. We remind you to call 811 two working days prior to digging. And by Southland Dairy Farmers. Official sponsor of WKU basketball. The Hilltopper, the Hilltopper fans, this is a chance for you to learn the ins and outs of WKU basketball with WKU head coach Rick Stansberry each Monday morning, 10, 15 a.m. on Facebook Live from the WKU Athletic Department's Facebook page. It's brought to you by Leachman Buick GMC, Kentucky's number one GMC dealership. Coach Stansberry and Randy Lee will talk to you this coming Monday, 10, 15 a.m. All right, Indiana State back with a basketball trailing right now by 18. Jeff, we should mention there'll be no post game after, uh, right. following today's game as the uh, studio will switch over to the football game, which will begin at 1.30, but the pre-game coverage will begin at 12.30. That will be in progress when we join. Toppers back for the basketball. Shot clock down, down inside of 10. Nelson working one on one. He'll go in and gives it over to Hollingsworth and hits the two. He thought he, he thought he stepped back, but uh, I don't know how that pass got through. Yeah. I mean, it gave a buzz cut to the defender for Indiana State. Got out to Hollingsworth on the wing. There's the block, and Colby comes down with the rebound. He just checked back into the game under four minutes to go. 73-56. WKU has never trailed and you know putting uh, this past week pretty much behind them right now. They've got an important game coming up Tuesday as well. Nice job by Thompson and he will go to the free throw line to try to convert the three point play. 3.30 to go. Timeout on the court, 75-56. It's all WKU here on this Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon. Today's simulcast of WKU Basketball on the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network is produced for Fox College Sports by IMG. All WKU here this afternoon, 75-56, a 19-point advantage with three and a half minutes to go in this basketball game. Time now for our Smith and Wilcott scoreboard. Smith and Wilcott, the family and criminal law attorneys who will provide championship effort to make sure your case is handled and resolved at Smith and Wilcott with 2Ts.com for a free con consultation called 270-904-3877. And the only score we really have, it uh, was an early start. So in the New Orleans Bowl, we'll switch over to football since the Hilltoppers will be playing in a bowl game today as well. It's Troy leading North Texas 15 to 7. So an old uh, Sun Belt school leading 
a Conference USA school, and uh, that's what it'll be when the Toppers take on Georgia State here in uh, just about 45 minutes right now. We'll be joining that game in progress as well. We'll be there for the uh, Randy Lee and the It'll be the pregame pre -game show. So, uh, yeah, three minutes to go. I don't think we're, this game is going to last quite 45 minutes more. No, I don't so. think so. I think we got things in pretty good hands. The three-minute mark, oh, a little behind the back pass by Thompson to Colby. Couldn't quite hang out to it. Slapped it out of his hands, and Justin Johnson will come into the game, and Colby will get a nice round of applause. The center who finishes the game with 12 points, six of seven shooting from the field and five rebounds and some blocks in there too as well. 2.58 to go, and it comes to Johnson. Johnson finds Hollingsworth, 76-59, toppers. Nice drive by Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth doing it inside and out right now. This little running soft jumper. A uh, tough shot, really not using the glass. Got that over the front rim. It's a very high degree of difficulty. Back to a 19-point advantage for the Hilltoppers. <laughs> Brendan Scott just fired a three from the left wing in front of his coach, Greg Lansing, that uh, pinwheeled out, went up, and settled back on the rim, went in for him. Now they're doing their best to try to, uh, you know, keep in the game as much as you can when you're down, though, by 16 with 2.20 to go. And the foul will send Justin Johnson to the free throw line. That foul called against Murphy. That's his fourth. He saw limited action in the first half because of some foul trouble. Well, that was good, uh, good scouting report there. They, as soon as Justin Johnson caught the ball, they went out and fouled him, knowing that Johnson's not the best free yeah. throw shooter. 45% on the season. He has he missed, struggled this year. Yeah, he missed his first two uh, at the line this afternoon. Well, if he hits this one, that'll raise that 45% a little bit. Hope so. Something he struggled with uh, off and on throughout his season. He's gone through streaks of being really bad. He's gone through some periods of being really good. Tyler Miller now into the game as Johnson knocks down two. Miller in for Darius Thompson, who had a nice afternoon. So Johnson knocks down a couple of free throws, and the topper is up 80 to 62 with just over two minutes to go in the basketball game. There's another three by Indiana State. They've been hitting them lately. Nice rebound that time by Lamonte Bearden. And Beard will bring the ball up across. Toppers leading it by 18. Over goes to Omer, who hit his first three just a little bit ago. Reminder, the coaches show Monday night will come to you from not from um, High Tops, but it will be from Lost River Pizza again. Randy Lee, Coach Stansbury, will talk about the action this week and what to look forward to next week. Well, and uh, as we said, the Toppers got a tough game coming up Tuesday. The feed in underneath doesn't go down. Johnson with the rebound as they host Belmont, a team that has kind of had the Toppers number the last couple of years. Bel Belmont is uh, really a good team. They've been a, uh, a, a uh, tournament team the last several years, and uh, they're always well coached. They will backdoor you until your nose bleeds if you're not careful. Johnson will get a chance to improve that percentage a little bit. Uh, Belmont, I think, knocked off Vanderbilt earlier this year, didn't they? Did they? They, they did. did beat them. Yeah. Vanderbilt maybe. Vanderbilt's down a little bit yeah. this year. Middle Tennessee beat uh, Vanderbilt in Memorial Coliseum. And I don't care how down they are to win in yeah. Memorial Coliseum yeah. as a visitor is always a, uh, a tough order. And Belmont always gives us a pretty good game. Uh, yeah, they, they, they like coming up here, I think. Johnson missed the first free throw. Another one coming his way. He can uh, keep his mark at 50% for today if he hits this one. And he does. So Johnson, three out of six from the free throw line. And uh, the toppers leading it 81 62. The largest lead, I think, was they were up 20 at one point in time. Johnson had his hands on the rebound momentarily. Tracked down after knocked around by Miller and picked up by Beard. Beard will bring. And our final minute of play brought to you by Minute Mart. Minute Mart for everyone living life on the go. Johnson, a little half hook shot doesn't go down. He's been successful with that earlier. Rebound taken down by Indiana State's Kessinger. And Merrick Nelson says, not going to give you anything easy. As he blocks away the shot, and the ball will still belong to Indiana State. Good for Merrick Nelson. Merrick, uh, another one of WKU's accomplished freshmen out of Texas. Merrick uh, felt 
a burden of responsibility yeah. after that game, after that loss at Wisconsin. He's the one that was whistled for the foul. Um, I know he was down after that one, but he certainly bounced back strong and put up a nice game this afternoon. Three-pointer by Hughes. Well, as you said, he was whistled for the foul, and there's still some debate whether that uh, I was careful in my wording was a foul statement. Yeah. Well, that one's behind us, and the topper's going to bounce back, though, and pick up a victory here this afternoon. Now, 81-65. Right now, the topper's by 16. They could either add to it, uh, but either way, they'll end up with a win as Bearden had it blocked as he went in to try to do a little bit of one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe the final shot of the afternoon, the three taken, not there. And that will be it as Jake Omer gets the ball and will just uh, bounce it out as the final second ticks away and the toppers win it 81 to 65. So the toppers bounce back very nicely from uh, a couple of tough road losses and one especially that you want to put out of your mind and the best way how to put a loss out of your mind is to uh, come back home and get a win. Absolutely. This is a Indiana State team. Remember, they went into into um, Indiana and beat them by 21 points in that game at Indiana. So this is no fluke team. They're they're very physical. They've got tall guards. They've got uh, you know strong big guys inside. Uh, Toppers knew they were going to be in for a battle, but they certainly played well in the in a recovery game and. Won this one convincingly, 81-65 against the Sycamores. And true to form, five players for the Hilltoppers in double figures as they continue to spread that scoring around. And the overall good effort by the Toppers, winning it 81-65. to The final here from EA Dental Arena. And the Toppers will improve their record to 7-4 and four as they take on Belmont next Tuesday. Today's simulcast of WKU Basketball.